I lose my mind while talking in English, I do not know how to express my thoughts in English and I get blank, I get mess in my mind, all these problems we usually face while talking in English, right. Hi, this is Sonia Aroda. In this video, I am going to tell you 5 steps, 5 practical steps, those will be very helpful for all of you to learn how uh, to learn English speaking and uh, it is my personal experience being honest I want to share these things because I used to face all these problems there was a big mess in my mind all the time and uh, I went blank uh, sometimes uh, but I overcame all these problems and these five practical steps will be will be very helpful to overcome your problems right and uh, let's discuss uh, first of all we discuss that uh, why is english uh, a high status in our country in our society actually i don't have the exact uh, reply of it uh, exactly uh, exact answer of it uh, but i but i must say that it has become necessity of our professional life if we want to grow if we want to get our uh, higher goals uh, we have to learn it and uh, we have to overcome this fear this problem right so let's start with our five important steps if i talk about first step first step is that uh, use a limited set of words use limited set of words mean don't look for new words uh, difficult words right always try to use common words easy words go for easy words no no like uh, no use uh, we shouldn't think uh, of using uh, uh, new uh, idioms new phrases new difficult vocabulary there is no need right go for that and if we uh, learn if we learn 10 words daily if we learn 10 words we are not able to use those in our life right if we are able to if we are able to use only two and three right from them though then it's easy for us right we can go for those i i it's my personal experience i used to learn 10 to 20 words but i applied only two to three or four to five words in my speaking right that is very effective rather we uh, we think uh, that uh, we should have plenty of words plenty of uh, uh, vocabulary words synonyms and all there is no need right you go for simple ones go for simple ones right and next step number two step number two always find a substitute for a word always find a substitute for each word or for sentence right if i say let's hang out today if i say let's hang out today what is the meaning of it because i know the things i can speak in better way but use simple sentence instead you uh, speak uh, let's hang out today you can use let's go outside today let's go outside today so i am also talking in english i am also speaking in english but i am talking in a simple tone i am using simple words even though I am talking in English, right, you also start doing this thing. So, do not try to grab a new difficult words, always try to find a substitute for a word or for a sentence that may help you to create your sentence, right. And uh, next, if I talk about third number rule that is also very important, listening, reading, writing, speaking, all these things are very important for English subject. But I must say we do writing, we do reading, we do listening, we see ma many movies, web series, Netflix and all so many uh, read novels and uh, books and uh, writing, we do writing also, right, sometimes. But which portion is missing? The portion speaking is major, major portion. That is the uh, most important uh, concept of speaking English. Speaking is missing in our life. So, it should be habit, it should be our habit that uh, we speak uh, in English, we try to speak in English in routine life, whether it is for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Uh, do not think uh, you should speak uh, like uh, for hours and hours, no, just speak for 10 minutes or 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 
the time whatever whatever you feel comfortable you but you should speak i think and next if i talk about rule number 4 rule number 4 says that uh, uh, you just talk with yourself talk with yourself don't look for other persons that uh, if you find anyone for conversation then you will be able to talk with them no you just start talk with yourself you just put on your earphones and start talking with yourself even even you can uh, record your video like if you talk for 10 minutes like i am talking with you uh, approximately 5 uh, to 10 minutes it is right i am talking like this so you can also do like this just keep a camera on video selfie mode selfie or keep on selfie mode of your phone and start speaking in front of that and after that you record it and listen it then you will be able to find out your mistakes whether you are uh, uh, using correct sentences or not whether you are speaking good or not in this way so try to talk with yourself right talk about anything about your family about your parents about your pa uh, friends about your home about your daily routine anything anything you can talk about right and last step step number rule number 5 that is most important if you want to learn english that is uh, don't feel hesitate say no say no to i don't bother right always say that i don't bother others i don't hesitate i don't feel shy this is a most important concept if you want to learn english and if i talk about myself in the starting when i learned uh, a few were there a few persons were there in my life they used to la laugh sometime they used to laugh at me often right at times i felt embarrassed i felt shy but i didn't stop right and one more thing i want to tell you nobody can insult us nobody can insult us until we allow them to do so nobody can insult us until we allow them to do so so why to bother others we have to decide th this thing we want to learn or we want to leave it it has to be decide right we have to decide it right we want to learn we want go we want to go further we want to go further or not right we want to learn or we want to stop ourselves so why to stop ourselves never stop for others you just don't bother if anybody say that uh, you are not uh, talking in a right way your pronunciation is not good your english is not right your sentence is not correct then tell that person to make it correct and tell them to help me right we can say that uh, you just help me hai na so i must say don't bother others don't feel hesitate right so in this way we can definitely build up our confidence with these five steps i am going to repeat these steps five steps first of all first step uh, if what i want uh, i told you use limited set of words those easy ones those use basic words use basic words right rule number 2 use substitute of each word or each sentence whatever you want to speak whatever you want to speak speak in a simple tone don't may try to make it complex right rule number 3 if i uh, want to tell about uh, there are so many portions in english like listening reading writing and uh, speaking you should focus on speaking more than reading writing because those things uh, we use in a uh, uh, routine life in any way right we but speaking portion is missing that should be daily do speaking only for 15 minutes or 20 minutes can be okay right and next if i talk about rule number rule number 4 if i talk about rule number 5 rule number 4 sorry uh, rule number 4 says that um, uh, talk with yourself at least 15 to 20 minutes right keep your camera on your video mode on selfie mode on and then start speaking 
right for 15 minutes you can talk to yourself then listen that video then watch out that video what are your expression are you using your hands right your gestures are you using gesture or not right and rule number five don't bother others don't feel hesitate don't feel shy don't uh, think uh, that others uh, will uh, insult us nobody can do this right we want to go further if uh, if people uh, stop us then why should we stop ourselves don't stop yourself for anything build up a confident if we i give you one example uh, if we learn driving right if i say if i learn if we learn driving we don't know at the initial step at the first days how to handle uh, clutch uh, gear uh, brakes and all right but after learning we are very sure we can drive same thing is with the speaking english speaking right we have to apply these things in our day to day life so don't break your routine you should apply it in your routine life right and uh, it is my personal uh, experience being honest i tell you i uh, i face so many things i face so much in my life but i never stopped myself i kept on doing again and again and now i am here i can talk i can speak in english i can read in, read in english i can write in english right guys so i hope these steps will be helpful to you and if you like this video these are very helpful to you then do like and do subscribe my channel so that further you may get the notification of my important videos so guys this is for today's video and let's meet in our next session very soon and thank you so much